YouTube Shorts. Before we begin, the name should be a little obvious. I mean, <clears throat> meaning they range from a couple seconds to like a minute or two. You can go up to like three or four minutes, but anything past that is just pushing it. Now, <clears throat> first thing you'll notice is that short videos are recorded vertically rather than horizontally. That's because they're meant to be viewed on your smart device while you're scrolling through your feed. I know this sounds obvious and intuitive for some of you, but you'll be surprised the amount of people who get this wrong. So if your video is already recorded vertically, then you're pretty much good to go. Try to get into the habit of recording vertically if you want to get into shorts, because it, does, it makes this process much easier and much more automatic. Just upload it to YouTube like how you would a regular video, and it'll automatically put it in the, in the correct tab, in its own selected tab. But let's say if your video is recorded horizontally and it doesn't count as a YouTube short, what to do? Well, let's hop on over to my favorite editing software. So here we are. I'm currently using Camtasia, but you're more than welcome to use whatever software you're more comfortable with. Here we have two videos, both of them recorded on my phone. One is horizontal and the other one is vertical. We can drag and drop both of them into the editor, but I like to do the vertical one first. That way Camtasia will automatically adjust the video's orientation. Once we bring in the horizontal video, you'll notice that it doesn't quite fit in the viewport. Solution number one, rotate your video sideways and place a disclaimer saying rotate your phone. Solution number two, shrink your video till it fits into the view window. At least it'll be upright, however, be mindful that smaller details will be harder to see. The third option, which I believe is the most professional, is to adjust your center of focus. <clears throat> Meaning, as long as your main subject is in the very center, <clears throat> this cuts down tremendously on the amount of editing you have to do. Just move your footage over to where your focus is, and then when it changes, slice your video, realign it, the clip, and then repeat the process until you're happy with the results. My final thoughts, take four. You don't have to stick with one solution. You can mix and match or use a combination of all th of either one. Now, mind you, it's never gonna look perfect, but that's okay because there's beauty in the imperfections. Okay, so I hope you found this very helpful. Now, let's talk about 